This is rather new and lucid. They have all of these visual activities that you can choose right from the sidebar. You can modify them or use them exactly as they are. You can see I've chosen a couple of ones that looked fun, like your favorite chocolate bar, but also some check-ins, like checking for energy levels. How are you feeling today? And you can engage with these. Now, if we were doing it in real time, we would see the results coming in together collaboratively, but this can also be done self-paced. So if you click on start in this activity and move your slider to tell me what your energy level is right now. So let's go ahead and just put it there, press submit, and then you'll be able to view the results after and you'll be able to see where people are. Now, I'm the only one that's filled this out. Let me show you one where I have two results in. If you click on view results here with the chocolate bar one, you can see that I can see where each person is. And these are people that were signed in anonymously. In this case, you can sign in with your name or anonymously. And if I click on average, then you'll see the average responses that have come in so far. Now, when you're creating this activity before before you launch it, you can choose anonymous results and that would keep obviously all the names hidden. However, there's no way to toggle this on and off. So if you turn it off, then as a teacher, you'll never be able to go back and see who said what. So that is something to just know and keep in mind. And once you launch the activity, you can no longer make it anonymous. So since this was already started, I can't make it anonymous. This one though wasn't started yet, so I can make the results anonymous. Anonymous. There you can see they're going to be coming in anonymously. So go ahead and play with some of these. The chocolate bar is a fun one that you can move around and then you can like stack what do you want on your burger. Again, this is just fun, but think that you could create this with absolutely any icons that you want and have students build up a bank. So you could do that with a word bank. You could do that with an image bank. I could see this working in so many different ways in language classes and you can create these from scratch, but you can also just start with the visual activity builder and there are so many different templates in here and then you can modify them. So I hope you'll go ahead and play on the slide and you can view the results of what other people are saying to have some fun.